Hello and welcome to the Aylesbury Estate, or well, part of the Aylesbury Estate. It was, probably still is, the biggest council estate in Western Europe. This building here is just one of about maybe 20, even 30 buildings. It was built just after the war and at one point housed 11,000 people. But what makes this place really unique at the minute is that there's only 15 people living here. That's it. What was once home to 11,000 people, let's go up to the fourth floor, is now a ghost town. So this is the fourth floor, and this is what I mean. Let's have a look down here, shall we? There, there. 300, 302, 268. Door after door, floor after floor, they're boarded up. All of these flats here are actually quite livable. Someone lives there. What are we on now? The sixth floor. 267, 266. And all this in the middle of London. You could be at Buckingham Palace having lunch with the King if you want in about 20 minutes or you could be at the London Eye in about 10. So why is it empty? Well, the plan is to replace this entire block, in fact, this entire estate with brand new homes. Just like these ones they're building across the road. And look at that beautiful colour, pastel pink. I'm sure that's going to age too well. The thing is, some people are refusing to leave. I knocked on a few doors and I managed to find two of them. And I'll show you the home, my home, so you can have the idea. Yeah. Yeah? Let's see that. This is, uh, sorry, that's my... No, 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 you shouldn't put just... These are really big houses, right? It is, and, and also how thoughtful they look. Huge cupboards. The one of the bedroom. Here. This is my bathroom. And that's, that's all I need. So you've lived here 30 years and there were lots of people when you first moved in. Mm. And now there are not so many people. Some people might go, oh, I'm not sure if I would feel safe. How safe do you feel? I feel very, very safe. And as soon as I stepped in, Icebury Estate footprint, doesn't matter what time it is, day or night, I feel safe. I'm home. How long is it taking you to collect all this? All my life. Yeah? <laughs> I started, as I say, I started primary school. Um, I've got tankards. When I moved here, as far as I was concerned, this would be for life. I didn't expect to think, well, I can't collect this, I can't collect that. I'm going to have to, you know, look after all my collection and pack it up and stuff. I didn't expect that. Do you ever feel sad when you walk around the place? Hi. I tell you, you know, I think, fuck it, I'm well done. You know what I mean? It's just a good, lively place, you know what I mean? Like, you meet people in the halls and that, and like, you wouldn't know them. But the face, you go, hey, I mean, that'd be, that'd be, you felt part of a community, you know? Do you want this open? Uh, yeah, I don't want you to look yourself out. <laughs> well, I know it's going to happen to me one day, but I don't want to move. And it's just one of those things, you know, such as life. If you're interested in more on this estate, I'll put some links in the description. Which you can go around and have a read on the internet. Probably loads of stuff that I haven't told you about. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It'll stop me having to get the bus everywhere. Cheers.